Good evening, it's the deal for Zal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European market analysis for end of days trading the Monday, 11th of September 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at uh, www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so in terms of market stats, you have the FTSE finishing up 36 points, the DAX up 171, very impressive. The French CAC up 63, so uh, European markets certainly rejoicing on the back of Hurricane Katrina certainly being downgraded. Therefore, the insurance-related stocks and the financial stocks certainly powering ahead today. And it certainly seems it was one hell of a short squeeze. Asian markets as well, up overnight. Nikkei up 270 points, Hang Seng up 1%, Shanghai up 0.3%. I certainly expected a short squeeze, but not as prolific, which is very, very impressive nevertheless. Especially European indices on the back of a euro that was uh, strong, although it did actually give in. Uh, you can see the euro now back down to 1.1950. It certainly seems like that double top on the euro certainly has held. I did mention this on the daily chart in my last video. Certainly looking for a double top. Even though Mr Draghi failed to talk down the euro, it certainly seems to have done enough. And also given the fact that the uh, hurricane um, certainly was downgraded and therefore uh, the damage on the hurricane wasn't as extensive. Uh, and therefore the dollar in the US dollar itself certainly started to, uh, started, started to reverse. Uh, and started to move uh, move higher, which in turn obviously sent the euro USD lower as well. If I bring up the chart of the US dollar index, give you an insight here. Bear with me. Also, you had the uh, price of uh, gold as well, certainly moving lower. So here we go. US dollar index certainly into support on the weekly chart. Okay, daily chart as well. Certainly uh, bouncing and holding this uh, lower channel. Okay, so keep an eye on this lower channel. Certainly looking for support. Horizontal, you can see. Uh, certainly a zone where you are looking to expect support and therefore we certainly received that today and all like I said lack of uh, hurricane uh, um, um, Irma doing the damage as was forecast uh, certainly been downgraded to a category one now I think and therefore obviously having that impact also you had uh, you've got uh, Apple earnings tomorrow as well or should we Apple um, revelation of a new product now whether it's evolution or innovation it's more like more likely to be um, evolution uh, and therefore, uh, certainly from my perspective, so I can't see any positive uh, ramifications from that, even though they are selling a $1,000 iPhone, which really to me is kind of insane. Either way, that's the status quo. Okay, so dollar index certainly finding support on the back of Hurricane Katrina being downgraded. Also, North Korean situation as well, certainly tamed. No, um, no real moves in the North Korean situation, which in turn obviously has helped. A risk as well rebound okay in terms of economic data on the calendar today um, economic data wise nothing really major on the on industrial production Italy certainly stronger than expected and, and that really was it okay we did have mr. ECB not at one point certainly with his hawkish comments but again that had absolutely no impact and you can see the S&P 500 up almost 28 handles at one point which is very impressive Okay, let's move on to the German DAX now. German DAX is ripping higher, gapping higher and ripping higher. So it certainly seems to be in that series of higher highs and higher lows. Just bear in mind that the daily chart does have the inverted head and shoulders target at 12, 12, 12,530 and we're still ripping higher as we speak. So again, watch out there. 10 minute chart on the German DAX from my perspective now certainly is overextended given the fact that we've certainly gapped higher almost, what, 12,300 now up to 12,500. I mean, this is ridiculous. 200 points on what? Nothing other than the fact that you are looking for a reprieve post Katrina and uh, the, the, the US the euro dollar is down what 60 70 pips. Hmm, uh, I just don't buy that. Okay, either, either way, either way, that's the status quo. Also, although having said that, just be mindful of the tech all share index certainly breaking out on the German DAX again, may well be the catalyst for the German DAX higher as well. So let's just see. Okay, is this a short squeeze? Is it a fake out? Or was this genuine, genuine strength? We'll find out tomorrow that the actual strength falls through. Okay, so French CAC at the moment, daily chart. You are looking at resistance now, coming into resistance on the French CAC. Okay, looking for a potential reversal here from my perspective. 60-minute chart as well. Although you are in no man's land at the moment with the next potential resistance being at 5,198. And then you do have gap fill at 5,220, but there's no real catalyst. Like I said, you have the unfilled gap below, so you're looking to potentially target that. 10 minute chart on the French CAC, double top intraday at 5180. Certainly looking for that resistance to hold. Okay, moving on to the FTSE 100 now. FTSE 100 certainly had a wild ride today. Okay, certainly rising in the back of AstraZeneca. Uh, certainly helping. The dr uh, drug prices certainly have been hammered, or drug, uh, or should we say the pharmaceutical sector certainly has been hammered as of late. Uh, certainly has picked up now. 
up 2%, certainly has helped the FTSE to a large extent. Also, we had uh, the likes of um, the bullish bias also was from obviously financials, uh, AstraZeneca. So it certainly was a, a mixture of financials and obviously pharmaceuticals that led the FTSE 100 higher. So as you can see here, it did eventually put in a topping tail. There is a symmetrical wedge being carved out. Just be mindful of that. Okay, so this symmetrical wedge could break out either way. So let's certainly keep a neutral mindset for now. A 60 minute chart still making mini highs and high, higher highs and higher lows, but the overall picture itself I mean, there's an argument you're just oscillating between these two extremes for now, okay? So you have an extreme around the 7440 to 7460, and then you have an extreme below at 7300. So let's see how we operate. For now, we know resistance has held at 7435, and next resistance is seen at 7460. So that's your two resistance zones, okay? certainly has flushed intraday as well 10 minute chart you can see we pushed as high as 7435 only to reverse back down to 7385 and then obviously bounce so interesting price action on the FTSE 100 today and certainly someone to keep an eye out for okay uh, last but not least euro stocks let's quickly go over euro stocks you can certainly see we've gapped higher quite a substantial gap as well almost a 50 point gap on euro stocks today again like i said no real major move in euro but the market itself certainly interpreting it as being bullish Giving Hurricane Katrina Irma and, and um, helping the financials, uh, given the fact that the, the concerns weren't as uh, as, as uh, expected, uh, and also you have uh, obviously uh, the situation in North Korea as well. Uh, but again, not not a move of almost fifty pip, but fifty pips or fifty points on the euro stocks. Again, quite strange, quite baffling. But you have to respect European strength for now, and we'll see how the markets unfold tomorrow. And let's see if they can follow through on that strength okay or whether it was just a uh, post uh, weekend short squeeze either way that's the case my I'm, I'm certainly looking for a uh, uh, overbought uh, a sell off that's what i'm looking for for a reversal lower and that's why i've positioned in terms of my day trading uh, uh, stats as well okay on that note please be sure to visit uh, cfds.com for your trading needs certainly take advantage of the bonus and be sure to visit trade singler signals and market updates from leading providers goodbye now